Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show. That's right, the PCM Tech Help Show. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. Now in this video, we are going to review an awesome piece of software. This software is actually used to defragment your hard drive. Now for those of you who do not know what that means, basically when you're deleting, adding, moving, resizing, doing all kinds of things with your files, it stores them in random locations all over your drive. So it means they're fragmented. And what a defragmentation software does is take all the fragmented files and defragments them. So basically puts them close to each other. And if it optimizes them, it actually puts them closer to the central pin of the drive so that they can actually read and write them faster. So this is a great tool to have to optimize your hard drive. Now this particular tool, of course, is like all my other tools, completely free. And it's free for personal use. It's not my tool. It's created by OusLogix. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. <clears throat> Again, you can download it at my website. That's at pcmtechhelp.com slash downloads. And let's take a look at what we got. <clears throat> at first glance, it's a very easy to use, very clean interface. Uh, <clears throat> the idea here, of course, is that we want to select our hard drive right here. That's my primary hard drive, C. Uh, you can also defragment your removable flash drives and a external hard drive if you have it plugged in. But I'm going to start out with my standard hard drive. And then I have a couple options here. I have the standard defrag, which, like I said, defragments the fragmented files. <clears throat> and then you have the defragment and optimize. Now, the defragment and optimize, like I said, moves them around depending on how you use your files. So it'll move the more frequently used ones closer to the central pin of the hard drive so that it actually can access them better. <clears throat> and then the standard analyze will actually give you a recommendation as to whether you should defragment or not. So I'm gonna run the analysis here real quick and as you can see it's running up through all my files and it's checking how many of them I have that are fragmented and how many I have that are not. Typically if you have any fragmented files go ahead and run it <clears throat> because the next time you run it it'll run that much faster. So if you keep up with this, run it once a week, once every two weeks, or run the auto defrag like I'm going to show you in a little bit, you're usually in pretty good shape with uh, defragmentation files. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get a good shape here. 4% isn't bad. Basically, let me go ahead and stop this. 4% fragmented at this point, I can choose to defragment or do a... <clears throat> a defragment and optimize. I always recommend your first time around defragment and optimize, walk away from it. But let's take a look at what else this software has to offer. It's very straightforward. You run it, it defragments, you are pretty much good to go. So if I go to file, it's basically just exit. If I go to action, we have a couple options here. Analyze selected, which is the same as the analyze button. Defrag selected, defrag and optimize, we know those. This is defrag a file in a folder. So if there's a certain file or folder on your computer that's full of, I don't know, music or movies, really large files, really small files, this might be where you actually want to go to make sure that you're just defragmenting that particular drive. Now it also has this built-in check for errors. This actually uses the built-in Windows check disk utility and it actually is a shortcut to it. So if you go to check selected, which I checked my C drive as you see in my, my primary area here, if you go to action, check for errors, and check selected, it'll actually check that drive for errors. It'll take quite a bit of time but it's another way you can check to make sure your hard drive is healthy. If you do check and correct selected, it'll automatically correct those errors. There's usually no risk associated with doing that, but like I said, it takes longer. Now we can go to settings as well and go to program settings, and there's a couple features we have here. Uh, here's your basic language selection and the version you're running. Uh, in general, you can actually change your settings. Now, if, <clears throat> if I close the program, I can have it minimized down into my system tray in the bottom right-hand corner here. Uh, but I personally, if I close something, I prefer that it closes. If I want to minimize it, I'll press the minimize button. So that's a setting that I chose. Uh, start automatically on Windows login. This works really well. It's not going to start defragging automatically, but it'll start the software program automatically. But this works really well if you have the automatic defragmentation running in the background. I'm going to show you that in a little bit, where after half hour, 20 minutes of idle time, it'll start defragmenting on its own. And do not so show solid state drives is a pretty common feature because if you have a solid state drive, defragmentation is not going to do a whole lot to improve your performance. Let's go ahead and go to algorithms here. And <clears throat> here you can kind of decide what you want to do to tweak your system. You can have it delete all the temporary junk files before defragmenting. That's a nice feature. You can have it skip large files. By default, this is set. I'm not a fan of it. So I like to disable this feature. I want it to defragment as much stuff as it possibly can. Uh, you also have the simultaneous defragmentation of disks. Uh, if you don't have like a quad core, I don't recommend having this enabled because if you're defragmenting like your, your internal hard drive and an external hard drive and the flash drive all at the same time, if you don't have a really good processor, you might run into some issues there. 
<clears throat> and then you have move system files to the beginning of the disk. If you do this, it'll actually increase your system boot time. So I do strongly recommend you actually check this box to enable it. That way you're making sure you're getting the most out of your defragmentation. Let's move on to schedule and here you can schedule it to automatically run a full complete scan anytime you want during any time of the day. Now your computer has to be on in order to do this or uh, you can go to the exclusion section and at this point you can add certain folders and things like that to make sure that they're uh, not included in your defragmentation. Maybe they're massive DVD ripped files, I don't know, and you just don't want to mess with them. Uh, and defrag in VSS compatible mode is only if you are actually running in a Windows business environment that uses shadow copy. Most of you probably are not. If you are, you'll probably want to enable this as well. So that's the basics of all that. Now let's go to advanced. And we have uh, here, optimize your computer and protect against viruses. This is actually just pitching some of their other software. There's better software that does that, so let's move on. In the view category, we can check all the boxes or all the drives, uncheck all, invert the check boxes, select local drives only, and auto defragmentation. This is the one I wanted to focus on here. In auto defragmentation, we can set it up to actually automatically defrag your drive after it's been idle for a certain amount of time. So we can set it to after 20 minutes, automatically start running in the background so that essentially we uh, can defragment the hard drive. You can then specify that you want it to pause the defragmentation if the CPU and disk usage exceeds a certain amount. So if you start using your computer again and it kicks up above a certain amount, it'll actually pause the defragmentation until you're idle again. So that's a nice feature. If you're enabling auto defrag, I do recommend actually setting this. And then uh, auto defrag the system disk only is probably a good idea too, otherwise it's gonna defrag external drives on its own. That's up to you, whatever your preference is there. Uh, of course, lastly, we have the help option. You can check for updates, contact technical support, website, business license. By the way, this is free only for personal use and see about to see whatever version you're running or update it. Uh, lastly, in the bottom left-hand corner, you will notice you have two options here. One will manage your standard view of all of your disks and the other one will also specify the auto defrag whether it's on or off. So that's all there is to this video. That's a complete overview of the OusLogix disk defrag software. Now there are a bunch of disk defragmentation softwares out there. A lot of them are very good. It's not a complicated piece of software, so they're really not gonna screw up your computer uh, very much. Let me scroll down right here to my hard drive tools. <clears throat> Obviously, I recommend OusLogix first and foremost. There's also Defraggler, which I used for a long time. It's also very good. Smart Defrag, although a little clunkier than the other ones, does a good job as well. Uh, so, And there's also the built-in Windows one, which I don't recommend at all. But that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, stay tuned, and there's plenty more videos to come. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain, or follow the site on Twitter. That's at PCM Tech Help. And uh, remember, the website's PCMTechHelp.com. Don't forget, it's PCMTechHelp.com. You can also uh, find us on Facebook. Basically, if you go to our website, we're connected to all the networks you can, you can possibly think of. So uh, stay tuned. Thumb this video up if you liked it. And uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to keep going. Thanks again.